when recommending a health diet for anyone having lots of fruits and vegetables will be top on the list. This has created an increase in the juice market across developing and developed countries. However, food juice safety and hygiene is a major concern among the population. Quality management in juice production is therefore viewed as a strategy to meet customer requirement and expectation. This video is showcasing how mango juice is produced following the food safety standards recommended by East African community. When mangoes are delivered to the factory for juice production, the quality controller will subject it to a quality check before it is cleared for offloading. Okay, at Kike Tropical Fruits, we manufacture fruit purees, we manufacture fruit pulps, and uh, fruit juices and concentrates from, from fruits like mangoes, pineapples, and passion fruits. So, in most cases, we transport our fruits ourselves to avoid to because we take care, care of the issues of food defense and food fraud. Because when you, when you transport your fruits, you avoid a lot of issues concerning fraud. So when the truck comes in there, they get uh, our food safety aspects starts from the farm. So they get, uh, the, 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 the get men record the truck, the supplier, the quantity, and then the gate is allowed to go to the weigh bridge, where we also take the weight, the gross weight of the truck. And then the truck comes into the reception area where the QC checks for the quality of the fruits. We have the established uh, quality of the fruits that we use. And uh, that criteria is what the QC follows to either accept or reject the fruits. And when they arrive, we select those that are ripe, those that are raw, those that are in between. And uh, of course, some may even be rotten. So we discard those off. So we, we go through the quality checks of uh, maturity indices. We call them maturity indices. So this is where we are able to look at what is ripe, very ripe, or in between. And then we, we process accordingly. Those which are rare, ripe, ready for processing, we go ahead and start processing them. Those which are still raw, we, we keep them in their crates and wait for them to ripen. The mangoes in the ripening chamber have between three to five days to ripen. The reason why we put them in the ripening chamber is to control that ripening so that they can all ripen at the same time. Because if you don't control the ripening temperatures, you'll have some ripening today, some ripening after two days, so you'll not have enough for processing. The mangoes should be free of any rot, damage caused by pest, abnormal external moisture, foreign smell, and black narcotics. Moldly and badly damaged fruits are also excluded at this point. And during all that process, we have points where personnel are stationed to do the sorting, remove any other unwanted fruit, rotten or unripe. Those selected and received are then sorted in the ripening chamber with favorable temperatures. They are observed, guided by the maturity indices. The maturity indices, we look at the color. The color guides us. Maybe the green, the green is usually raw. Uh, the orange starting to yellow, that is getting to the ripening. And there are those that may actually be ripe, but when you touch them, they are too soft. Some of those may be rotten already inside of them. So those ones, we will definitely not process them at all. And some may have black patches, some may be infested by by pests, we check for all these before we actually do the processing because the end result will be affected by what we initially used in our processing. When they are considered ready for production, more sorting is done. Those that are not suitable are discarded at this point. The selected will be loaded into a conveyor for washing with clean and potable water. We have something like a jacuzzi for washing. Water comes in under high pressure and the fruits are again washed. Now that's an automatic washing. The other one was manual washing. So after that, the fruits are, are forwarded through the conveyor again to another washing point where now we have automatic brushing. Brushes plus water under high pressure 
to remove any other dirt that may have remained on the fruit. Throughout this stage of production, the international standards recommended in food production are followed keenly. And then personnel have to follow personal hygiene issues. They have to wash their hands, they have to put on their masks. You know, they have to, to ensure the work area is clean, the hygiene of the environment. And number two, another one is the pest control of that area. For example, you know, with this is food and therefore prone to infestation. It's things like rats, things like insects, cockroaches or whatever. So we ensure pest control is managed well. Then in the production area as well, personal hygiene is very important. Issues of uh, hygiene of the equipment that we use, contact, we call them food contact material. Issues of uh, medical examination of workers. People must be medically fit to handle the food. Then you have safety aspects where we ensure that all the critical control points are monitored, any operational prerequisite programs are followed, any prerequisite programs that we have identified are adhered with. Yes, because we follow the standard of ISO 22000, which is a food management system, food safety management system. We follow US EAS 39, which is hygiene in the food and drink manufacturing facility. And we also have labeling standards and other food, uh, other product standards. Pre-production, relevant quality issues. Standards define quality of fruits. For example, the mangoes shall be whole, sound, produced not affected by rotting or deterioration, such as to make it unfit for consumption is excluded. Clean, practically free of any visible foreign matter. Practically free of damage caused by pests, especially mango fruit fly and mango seed weevil. Free of abnormal external moisture, excluding condensation following removal from cold storage. Free of any foreign smell or test, fresh in appearance. Free of damage caused by low temperatures. Free of black necrotic stains or trails. Free of marked bruising, sufficiently developed and display satisfactory ripeness. Washing marks the pre-production stage. Next is the processing stage, which is going to be showcased in the next video.